What's going on, my name is Spencer, and in this video, I'm gonna be quickly going through a reverb ring out, which is an audio effect I use all the time. Um, since Premiere is updated a bunch of times, the actual reverb effect is now obsolete, and I can't even find it on Premiere. I will remember you. Uh, so I've used another effect and created basically the same preset that I was using before, uh, just with another effect and you can use it right on the audio clip. There's a free download link in the description so you can download it or you can follow along and I'll show you how to use it as well in Premiere. So let's get started. Okay, right now I just have an audio track from audio.com in the timeline right now and I use this effect a ton. It's just a little bit easier than having to remix the song and, and cutting the end and trying to mix it together. So let's just go in and see where our edit could end, potentially. Okay, so I found the beat that I want to cut at, and what I'm going to do is go frame before and add a cut in. And then once you've soloed that out, I'm just going to bring the rest of the audio track to zero uh, so it has time to ring out. So I guess that's something to note really quickly here is for this effect to work properly is you have to have some runoff for the actual audio clip. So you can see here that I have a lot to play with. So I guess that's just something to be weary of. So that's what it would sound like if I was editing to this. It's a pretty hard cut. You can hear that. It's just that last beat. So now let's add the ring out effect and listen back. It's almost not enough for me, so what I'm gonna do is come into the wet output and drag that up to about 80. And now let's listen. And even drag it out longer so it echoes. And now it can fade out on its own. And it's literally that simple. And if you don't want it to echo that long, you can just simply nest it and then bring it down yourself where you want it to end. So say your audio clip just ends here. Uh, if you're working with like a sound effect, uh, just nest it. And I'm sure you've seen this in another tutorial, uh, but just dive in just so you can make the nested sequence a, a little bit longer. So all I've done is muted and duplicated the clip a couple times. So now that I can drag this out and let's preview that quick and now let's see what it sounds like dropping this on same effect and again to control the echo yourself you just nest this already nested sequence and then fade it out on your own super simple i'm sure there's a million ways that you could do this uh, that's just the way that i use and yeah i hope that helps that's it for this one thanks for sticking around and i'll see you in the next one peace